to all of my Libras out there. Um, please make sure to get my book at Amazon or BarnesandNoble.com. The link to that is in the description box below as usual. Uh, if you'd like to contact me for personal reading, my email address as well as the prices are in the description box below. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. So let's get into it for the Libras. So we have the Queen of Swords, okay? Um, the Fool, the, War, the Wheel of Fortune, okay? The Four of Cups, Six of Wands, the World Card, Eight of Cups, the Magician, the Seven of Swords, and last but not least, you have the Ace of Wands. So what I'm seeing here for the, the Libras, I'm trying to see if it's moving. Anyway, I'll just pick it back up if it moves, whatever. So um, seems to me as if a lot of you Libras, right? Queen of Swords, the Fool, Wheel of Fortune, you are not letting go of a particular situation and some of you Libras are starting to get spiteful. And you don't necessarily see how spiteful a lot of you are starting to get, right? Because maybe you you were in some sort of uh, potential love situation, of course, a romance. But um, again, remember what it is I was talking about, about how most of the times what most people consider love to be is actually dysfunctional, right? Because mo most people on the planet do not know what love is because they own some goofy stuff. The self-importance is sky high, right? So it's not necessarily what what love is really supposed to be. It's really just about control at the end of the day, you know? Trying to control, quote unquote, other people. And I don't know how that's possible considering the fact that if you don't have any kind of self-control, then you're not going to control other people. So... You're holding on to this grudge a little bit too much, saying that it's time for you to learn to let go. Otherwise, the only person that you're gonna be dragging down is yourself. That's what it's saying. So the Four of Cups and the Six of Wands represents here that, you know, um, one of the things that you've been doing is, you know, and I've, and I've, you know, I have a couple of Libras myself, you know what I'm saying, who, you know, Again, Libra is one of those zodiac signs that represents love, but you know, uh, it really depends on what aspect, right? Um, because I wanna say Aries to Leo, I wanna say, yeah, Aries to Virgo can represent the process of love, right? Uh, and Libra, is love as a Libra moving forward is love, but it can represent love when you bring a contract into it, right? Um, you know, political things into it. So a lot of times, again, a lot of you Libras are not understanding, you bring in too much politics into your love life. And what I mean by that is you're preoccupied with people whom are not willing to work with you. See, a lot of people want to be with people that that they're not even compatible with. Six of Wands, it's time for you to move forward, right? This is the part of the reason why it is that in a lot of my readings, I talk so forth because a lot of people tend to have complaints. You know, everybody's so sensitive. But like I, I I talk I talk forcefully because a lot of people are hitting their heads against these brick walls trying to figure it out. But what they don't seem to, what they don't want to understand is your own ego and your own self-importance is the thing that's messing you up. You don't want to learn to stop trying to control the person, but then you're insane because you want to control the person, but at the same time, you want it to be a loving situation. Love and control are not the same thing. As a matter of fact, if you want real love, you're going to have to learn to let go of trying to control the other person if you want to keep it 100 or if you want to keep it a thousand or a hundred thousand or whatever it is that you want to call it. Why? Because if you truly love the person, you would want the best for the person. And love is about the person reaching their highest potential, which is limitless. So you can't pick and choose 
well, I want to control this person. But if you control this person, by definition, you are stifling their potential. So you can't say that you really love the person and you're trying to stifle the person at the, the person's potential at the same time. Love is really about if you care about a person so much to the point where you're willing to not even be with that person so that the person can achieve their highest, their highest potential, which is limitless. I told you, I said if it falls, I'll just go ahead and pick it up. So the cards that I come up with after that is the Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Cups, and then you have the Magician. So these three cards are about you have to learn to get right with yourself is what it's saying. You have to learn to start getting right with yourself. And how you even do that in the first place is by, like I said, letting go of a person that's, that you're trying to control or control that you felt like you didn't have in the relationship or whatnot. Got to learn to you got to learn to let go of that. As a matter of fact, you have to learn to let go of that because if you don't, that's the same thing that's going to ultimately. That's the same thing that's going to uh, ultimately destroy you. I gotta fix this, this dang thing. So um, why that's important, right? So uh, the world represents the, the, the world as we, the world as we experience it, right? And then you have the Eight of Cups and then you have the, ma the Magician. Sorry about that, but the Magician and the Eight of Cups, right? The Eight of Cups and Magician is about, again, you having to learn to evolve and get over some of your own immaturity, right? Right? Because even because at because like at a certain point, like let me let me like let me give you all an example, right? Like at a certain point, I was speaking with the Sagittarius about a year ago, last year. And I was telling the Sagittarius, I was like, um, I was like, I was like, I like Sagittarius, but the problem is. And I, this is what I was telling the Sagittarius. I was like, I like Sagittarius, but the problem is uh, Sagittarians are a little bit too wild for me. And I said, and I said, I, it doesn't necessarily mean that I have to hang out with them, right? Uh, on that personal level, but at the same time, um, and, the, and then I, and then I was like, and then I, and then I told the Sagittarius, I was like, I was like, is it because I can't control Sagittarius is why I don't like Sagittarius. And it was a and it was a question that I had to bring up. It was a question that I asked. It was a question that I ultimately was asking myself. And I was like, and then what I came to the conclusion within my own self is, yeah, that's the case. So you have the Seven of Swords and then you have the Ace of Wands. The Seven of Swords and the Ace of Wands represents how this is a situation for a lot of you Libras where you're going to have some new opportunities coming in, but you're going to be so spiteful if you're still spiteful over the fact that you didn't get your way with this other person. You're not even going to see the opportunities. And the Ace of Wands represents that's going to really destroy your love life. Because, again, you got a lot of you got a lot of lunatic people out here who want to jol, control, manipulate, bruise, batter, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, um, you know, uh, browbeat, you know? So let's clarify the Ace of Wands. That's not, that's not, that's not what love is about <laughs> at all. Six of Cups. So someone from the past may be coming back, Seven of Cups, but you still may be bitter about it, you know? You still may be, may be bitter about it. Don't. You know what I'm saying? Just leave this person in the past. Leave this person exactly where it is that they need to be. If you are a Libra and you are in a crazy relationship and you keep and y'all keep being in a crazy relationship and you don't get out of that and leave that alone permanently, there's nothing that I can do for you. So that's an ego thing. That's a that's a that's a huge ego thing. That's a problem. That's pretty much it. Comment, like, subscribe. Peace, y'all. One.